As you know, most reviews of cruise ships, cruise lines, or cruising in general are written by young or middle-aged adults or young families with young children. This is especially the case for Disney Cruise Line. It is rare you'll find reviews written specifically for seniors. Seniors want different types of vacations from young adults and young families, as we know. This review of the top 10 tips for seniors to have a relaxing, memorable vacation on a Disney Cruise Line cruise is written by me, a Medicare card-carrying senior, and it is written for seniors, retirees, and baby boomers just like you from our senior point of view. Some will be specific to Disney Cruise Line cruise, while others will be more general to most cruising adventures for seniors. And you'll want to stay to the end where we provide you with a quick summary of our 10 suggestions so you can write them down and take them with you. So let's get right at it. First, learn about your actual Disney Cruise Line cruise ship. It may surprise you, yet Disney Cruise Line ships are not identical, like, for example, Viking Ocean Cruises. Each has its own personality, theming, art, and so on. Familiarize yourself from several different sources. The more you know about your Disney Cruise Line vessel, the better you can start to take advantage of what it has to offer you. First, there is the Disney Cruise Line website where you'll find deck plans showing you where your cruise cabin is located and what is on each deck, including the details of the different specialty restaurants on board like Paolo. Next, watch YouTube videos such as this one and others on our At Nandan Travel YouTube channel, as well as other YouTube channels, of course. It is only there where you will learn and see actual experiences from those of us who have actually been there and done that. Tip number two. For cruises departing from Disney's terminal at Port Canaveral, we strongly recommend staying the night before at a Disney resort at Walt Disney World. First, as if you needed it, it will get you in the Disney spirit. More importantly, however, is if you do not have your own vehicle to drive to Port Canaveral, we strongly recommend you use the Disney Cruise Line bus transportation. Again, why? Not only will they send you luggage tags for your luggage that they will then take the night before or the morning of your cruise and pick you up right from your resort. But here's an insider tip. By using Disney Cruise Line transportation, at least it did for Nancy and I last June, you will be automatically assigned a boarding time. You won't have to get up really early in the morning or stay up really late at night to check yourself in about a month before departure in order to get an early boarding time. And by staying at Walt Disney World Resort, the boarding time you are assigned is likely to be an early one, since they will typically use just one bus to take all guests staying at a particular Disney Resort at the same time. We had zero status with Disney Cruise Line and we were assigned, are you ready, boarding group two. It was wonderful to board the ship and start our cruising adventure as soon as possible, the morning of our cruise. We have a full video on using the Disney Cruise Line transportation from Walt Disney World for you. We'll add a link to it at the end of this video. It has been one of our most viewed videos ever, so be sure to stay to the end and take a look for yourself. Tip number three for seniors on a Disney Cruise Line cruise. Make a dinner or brunch reservation at the Paolo Steakhouse. Sure, it's an upcharge, one of the few on Disney Cruise Line cruises, I'll have to say. We stayed on the ship and had our brunch there on our NASA Bahama day. It was everything you've read about or seen videos of. The waiter was wonderful, giving us extra special attention, explaining every dish, answering every question we had. Everything from the bread service to our desserts was outstanding. The meat and cheese plate was delicious. The eggs benedict, one of Nancy's favorites, were among the best we've ever had. The two pizzas we tried were again top class. And the entrees were so delicious that we forgot to film them until we were almost already finished. Sorry about that. I, I had the lasagna and I can tell you, I've never had lasagna where I could use the word light to describe it. It did not fill me up at all. Of course, the desserts were something special there, as you can see here. Speaking of eating, tip number four is to have breakfast at at least one morning out on your balcony if you are staying in a balcony or suite cabin. 
Room service is complimentary on Disney Cruise Line ships as of the recording of this video in March 2024. All we paid was an extra tip for the server. We had room service on the morning that we stopped at Castaway Key so we could be amongst the first to get off the ship when it docked. Who wouldn't want views such as this for breakfast with the convenience of not having to leave your cabin? It was wonderful. Tip number five, beverage tastings. Nancy and I do not do this on every cruise, but they seem to be different somehow on a Disney cruise. You have to sign up as soon as you can on the Disney Cruise Line app because they sell out very quickly, especially if you have no status with Disney Cruise Lines. Yes, there's an upcharge, but for us it was well worth it, and we are not hard drinkers by any means. Our, ours was in the Nightingale Lounge, where we were able to snag a martini tasting. Walk the ship at night or pre-dawn is tip number six. It's wonderful to see the ship all lit up at night when no one is around except for the crew cleaning up this or that. The visuals are breathtaking with all the different colors at night, the relevant silence except for the breeze and the ocean. It's one of the tranquil experiences on any cruise ship, and a Disney Cruise Line ship is no exception. We hope you have found most of the tips presented so far interesting and useful for you. If you have, Please do give our video a thumbs up so others will know of its value. And if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And click the notification bell to be notified of future travel videos for seniors and adults where we try to save you money and time through our travel insights, recommendations, and experiences that we share with you. Approximately one to two videos a week. Tip number seven, character photos. Many of those who go to a Disney theme park are hoping to snag a picture or two with a Disney character without having to wait in a long line. Honestly, they're going to the wrong place for this. They should be going on a Disney Cruise Line cruise. There are numerous, too many to count, opportunities for kids and adults of all ages to get their picture taken with numerous Disney characters while on board. The times of the different photo opportunities are provided in the Disney Cruise Line app when on board, including which character, at which times, at which location, frequently in and around the main lobby. We recommend purchasing the photo package. We do not do this on any other cruise line, yet photos with Disney characters are unique, especially if you have a fondness for Disney in any way. Sometimes there may be even be a Disney character added to your photo. We also recommend the Disney photo package for the non-character photos they take, and that's our tip number eight for seniors. There are photographers, as there typically are on cruise ships, walking around in the restaurant to take your pictures during dinners, as you see here for us in the Worlds of Marvel restaurant where Nancy and I dress up. Here you see us in Arendelle, I believe, on Pirate Night. In the lobby in most evenings, they have different backdrops as you see here for more photo opportunities if you wish. So many great memories. Disney Cruise Line even has photographers out on Castaway Key if you want, as you see here. Tip number nine, hang in there, only one or two more to go now. Have fun playing some of the different trivia games and bingo while on board. Nancy and I are not big trivia game players yet, the ones we played on board were a lot of fun. They are typically, although not always, in one of the onboard lounges like this one. There were many different types of trivia games, from Disney trivia, of course, to sports trivia, movie trivia, just so many. The ones we participated in were complimentary, unlike bingo, which cost a few dollars. Tip, and our last tip for you today, number 10. On Castaway Key, do spend at least some time at Serenity Bay, which is an adult-only beach area. When your Disney Cruise Line ship docks at Castaway Key, the crew members on board are first to take out the provisions, etc., that are not stored on the island. Then everyone goes in this direction to the many different beaches and beach activities. There are several beaches available, as you can see here, and yes, this is where the families with children would hang out. If you want an adult-only beach experience, then Serenity Bay is where you want to go. It is about a full mile from the family beaches. I know, Nancy and I did the Castaway Key 5-mile run walk 
and Serenity Bay is towards the second half of the 5K. You can walk or more likely take the island tram from the Pelican tram stop. That is what we did after we finished the 5K and spent some time on the family beaches. I filmed the ride for you that took about three to four minutes. I'll speed up most of the ride for you and slow it down when we get closer. Serenity Bay has its own beach, its own barbecue restaurant, more about that in just a moment, a massage cabana and adult private cabanas. Those cabanas all need to be reserved before you arrive so you are aware and they're for a fee. The bonus, at least for me, about Serenity Bay's luncheon menu is that it includes barbecued steak as you can see on the right that is not on the menu that is offered at the family beaches. It was delicious. Yes, as Nancy can attest, I went back for a second barbecued steak. It must have been all that running in the 5K we did earlier in the day. Or it was that delicious, or both. And there you have it, our 10 tips for adults, retirees, and baby boomers and seniors on how to make the most out of your Disney Cruise Line cruise vacation. Please remember to add your comments below for your own additional tips and suggestions for seniors and retirees to help them enjoy their Disney cruising adventure. We hope you have enjoyed watching this video and have gained at least a few travel ideas you can take with you on your future Disney Cruise Line vacation. Here are two more of our adult vacation travel videos for you to choose from. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. We'll see you next time.